Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvelously well. We're doing something we haven't done before. We're doing a video with antelope audio. Lots of people have asked me over the years about antelope and they contacted us and said that they have a relatively new product called the Zen Tor Synergy Core. Okay, what is it? It's an interface, but it comes with a schnizzle ton of things. Tons of plugins, I think it says 36 FX, and I've been hearing a lot of noise about it with guitar players, and last time I checked, I'm a guitar player. Also, they're doing a giveaway so you can enter to win as well, so let's check it out. All right, so firstly, it's pretty substantial. It says, do not accept if seal is damaged. Anybody want to do a seal noise? Oh, oh. There you go, seal has been damaged and it didn't cry. All right, okay. I've got to be the worst unboxer ever in the history of unboxing. You know, people, they have like swords to unbox. They do all kinds of things to make a big deal out of it. Well, I'm just unboxing it like a normal person or at least like me. Okay, here is, so it's a desktop unit. Let's check it out. Cloth to clean it with. And yeah, it's substantial. There's some weight to it. There's a power supply in here. Looks like a cable to connect to your computer. It is all rather nice. Wow. It's pretty sleek. It's pretty darn sleek. I like this brushed feel. Okay, on the back here, looks like we have four XLR slash quarter inch inputs. Um, line out on an L curl, that's really nice. That's very professional. ADATs in and out, USB. So two different USBs, in and out on a SPDIF, left and right mono out, and of course the power supply. Um, I like this. I like small units that have lots of flexibility. We've always been um, talking about this because when, well, obviously we're in the pandemic days, but when we've been doing a lot of studio tours, we turn up to places and we do lots of recordings off of consoles and things like that. And one of the things is we want to travel light and with small stuff. So it's, this is nice that it gives you all of these different options for inputs here. In fact, an ADA in and out is a big deal. A lot of places we go to, they have a light pipe in and out and uh, we don't have the right unit. So nice. I've got to say something. This is, I'll say it once more time. This is substantial. This feels like I actually purchased something. All right, let's plug it in. So this is the Zen Tour. Now they had one before, but it didn't have the Synergy Core. We're gonna have some fun with it, play with the guitar stuff. There's some amp sims in there. There's some impulse responses. There is a bunch of different compressors and EQs and all that stuff that comes with it. And of course you can add more to it. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's check it out. This is rather gorgeous. It's set up down here. It's got a touch screen. It's ridiculous, a touch screen. It's also got two headphone outputs on the front. But I think a nice touch for guitar players, it's got two reamp outputs as well. Looks like four inputs on the front for guitar, which is pretty crazy because in the back, you've got four line ins and four uh, mic inputs. It might sound silly and petty, but listen to these. This is just the sound of the mic input DI. So you might be saying, Warren, what's the big deal? That's a good sounding DI. Immediately demonetized for playing uh, those two parts. Anyway, but it sounds really nice. So that's a good sign. Now, we did watch uh, somebody's review and they're talking about the routing. This actually came up routed perfectly straight off from the beginning. So that's interesting. You've got the preamp input here, and then you've got the AFX in here. So there's effects inside of this built inside of this mixer here. Obviously, I'm in my DAW, but 
I'm here on this, so. I'm completely controlling everything with a mouse. This is default. And the latency is really minute. Try something fast. Not feeling about a problem with it at all. So here we have the routing or routing, depending on from which side of the Atlantic you're on. Then you've got the mixer here. Oh, nice. Really good graphics, by the way. Really good graphics. And then here is the effects. All right, so there's a lot of fun things in here. Guitar amp. Darkface 65. I'm guessing that's a Fender. 65 Deluxe. <laughs> It's really full sounding. Okay, really nice indeed. Let's see what other guitar amps we got in here. Oh, and you've got the guitar cabinet. Ah, okay. So let's add a different guitar cabinet afterwards. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really nice. That's just stock. So it looks like what we've got here is a 57 and a Royal 121. I don't know if they're calling that. They're calling it an American 57 and a California 121, which is obviously a dynamic and a ribbon. That's really gorgeous. So there's a blend of the two microphones here. Let's try just taking the Royer off. It's got so much body. Here's just the Royer. And you've got a rear mic as well. So 57 on the rear, probably. It's really full sounding. I've got that 57. I've got that Royal 121 on it. I can blend between the front and the back. This respire button here apparently allows you to switch between the real response of the cabinet and a processed version optimized to fit in the mix and avoid frequency overlap with other instruments. We would have to definitely try that in a mix to find that out. But there's so much here to cover, I don't even know if I'm gonna to get to that. Here's a high pass filter, there's a low pass filter, and the BP, I believe, is to bypass the cab sim. Okay, let us, let's go looking and see what other cabs they have. I'm gonna go the green two by 12. Just the Royer. Very smooth. Let's try just 57. Very much like a 57. Let's bring in that rear mic for a bit of oomph. There's so many things here to try, so I'm gonna try and move through a little quicker. Let's try different amps. So top 30. So 
So I'm gonna bring our preamp down. <laughs> Cool. Brought our preamp down so we weren't driving it too hard. Let's go and get a little heavier. We got Rock 75 UK. Technology is just getting silly, isn't it? Get some bass into this. Okay, now we're talking some serious. Change out the cabinets. Although those are greenbacks, which is probably what you'd want. What's an England 4x12? Let me guess. Oh, wow. Mid range and up front. Bring down some of that 57, dial up the rear. goes to show what you can do when it comes to cabs. As soon as you start working with different impulse responses, it completely changes the sound. All of that could be considered to be EQ, but just listen to how I, if you blend the mics. It's absolutely ridiculous what it can do. I wonder what the Marcus is. Well, that deep works. Okay, let's give it a cab. Green 212. So much better. Okay, now I'm going to use a mic pre on it. So we're gonna grab a mic pre, we're gonna go for this BA31. And let's drive out a little harder. So let's bring the trim down, whack up the gain. Added loads of thickness. Okay, let's grab an EQ, EQ1A, we all know this. Let's go and grab some 5K and boost it. There you go. Maybe what, a little bit of 100 just for the heck of it. Next thing we can add is, and you know what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab a compressor. I have a LEM76. Let's 
get that release to the fastest point, slow down the attack. <laughs> Game match that little bit. That's a great guitar sound. Memory cat. So we need to bring up the depth. The feedback a bit and of course the blend <laughs> it's pretty tasty Kind of fun. Let's try something else. So a stay level called a stay level. Ooh, that is nice. So it's got quite a few options there, which is nice because you could put all this on the mixer and we haven't even touched our DAW. They've got all kinds of stuff here because you can get their virtual mic emulation, of course, and select all that stuff. I mean, this looks like the beginning of a whole system built around a very high quality interface. Thank you, Antelope, for sending it. It all looks rather wonderful. Love playing around with it on guitar. I think the next thing we need to do is track some drums through it. It has four inputs, so... Let's come back and do that. Don't forget to enter to win. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. <laughs> 